Then when mixed with ammonium sulfate produces ammonia. Well, ammonium sulfate is an ammonium salt, ammonium salt and a base, ammonium salt and an alkali will give off salt, water and ammonia gas. Right, when we heat them up, we get salt, we get water, we get ammonia gas. So we have ammonium salt here, so we need to look for a base among all of them. And that will give us lime water, which is a base calcium hydroxide. Which of the following four compounds show both cis trans and optical isomerism? So let's focus on cis trans first. Cis trans basically we look at the double bonds and then we see if there are possibilities where they produce cis trans. You must not have two of the same groups attached to the same carbon within the double bond. So looking at here, we have two bromine attached to the same carbon that consists of the double bond so this will not have cis trans this one we don't have two groups that are the same so this is attached to the same carbon so this is still possible we leave this aside this one brcl different this whole group and h different so possible for cis trans we leave it alone this one br br same groups attached to the carbon there won't be a cis trans here all right so now we narrow down to b and c we check optical isomerisms optical isomerisms we look at the to see if there's carbon containing four different groups so looking at this carbon we have one group two three four all four of them are different groups so this is our chiral carbon it will display optical isomerism all right and then this is where the cis trans actually happen so answer is b but we check c just in case c this one has four groups attached but they are not four different groups okay, we have two bromines attached here so there's no optical isomerism produced by this molecule this is not chiral so we don't have optical isomerisms um, for that matter on the matter of cis trans actually this is more accurately known as EZ but um, we take it as their intention is to check for cis trans Twenty one lactic acid, a uh, compound, seemingly confusing compound. Let's draw it out. CH three. CH. There's an hydroxy group attached to it, OH, and then it's later attached to a carboxyl group, COOH. So we have this. Once we have this, actually, we can see that um, two important functional groups, both the carboxyl group and the hydroxyl group. So what reaction can occur? Well, answer is B, right? where they say that the molecule is reacted with an acid. And what happens? The acid. Your methanoic acid will actually undergo esterification with the lactic acid here and then it will produce this compound. Maybe I'll talk about C. What is happening in C? C says that this compound reacts with the lactic acid reacts with sodium carbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate. 
and they say that it's the hydroxy group that actually reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate and that's not true the hydroxy group will react with sodium but not sodium carbonate not sodium hydrogen carbonate if anything the one that reacts with carbonates will be the COOH group right so this is wrong because it uses this to react with the carbonates whereas it should be using your carboxyl group to react with the carbonates Bromine reacts with ethene to form 1, 2 dibromoethane. So the description of the organic intermediate. So we start off with the ethene. Alright, and then we have our bromine molecule. So this is a region where there are electrons, so it will attract a electrophile we have a partial positive on bromine and a negative here All right just a recap on the mechanisms the bond will form and the bond will break eventually or the intermediate we have the new bond is between C and BR since this one loses the electron this carbon is short of one electron it will be a positive charge over here and then this BR since it passes two electrons to the whole the BR right it will be a negative charge so the correct description of this intermediate right it is not a negative charge it is a positive charge free radical it doesn't have unpaired electrons Nucleophile. Nucleophiles look for regions of positive charge. If you look at here, this actually itself carries a positive charge. So it is actually interested in or uh, being attracted to regions of negative charge. It is actually an electrophile. Okay. I repeat, it is positively charged. So you will look for regions where it's negative negative regions so it likes electrons it is an electrophile so answer is D